What's up guys? Welcome to Straight From The Chest. My name is Justin and I'm your host guys on this personal development podcast. Guys, I thank you for giving me your listening ear. Thank you for, for joining me on this podcast. If you're new, welcome. If you're old, you've been listening to me for any length of time. I appreciate you as you already know. Guys, I look, I had a lesson planned out for this podcast as I do pretty much every podcast, although it's off the cuff, I have an outline of what I know I want to speak about and speak on. And I'm tossing that today because quite frankly, um, as most of you or some of you are gung ho or motivated for the new year, um, I can't say that I'm not but I don't see the new year like maybe you see the new year. I don't see the new year as a new opportunity. I just see it as another day and I see it as just another turn of the calendar. And in fact, it's kind of depressing to me at some times because now we got to wait a whole nother year for like Christmas and Thanksgiving and the feasts that associate or associate with them. And I love that. I love the the community and all that that comes you know that comes together from those specific events and the memories that are created with them etc and now it's like well january 1st we've got to wait umpteen months it seems like to get there again so i'm not necessarily in the same ballpark as most of you and that's not a bad thing it's not a, it, it doesn't it doesn't really matter but what does matter is, uh, I guess, what does matter is, let me gather my words. What matters is what the point is to everything. Like finding out what the point is. Because like I said, most of you, maybe you have a certain set up for this new year with fitness goals and you know nutrition goals and you got you got every all your ducks in a row with that in that regard and most of these same people sadly sad to say are the same people that are going to fall off in a week or two or a month or two so and for for something like that look that's my life i have no problem adhering to a nutritional structure and 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 a weightlifting protocol. In fact, I do better when I am in that structure. So that's why I think I just don't really care as much as maybe you do about the new year, or it doesn't have as much, it doesn't bear as much weight on me as it does maybe you, and it's not as motivating to me. In fact, it's demotivating to me if there was such a term that I could use um, because of the, of the said things. But I oftentimes, <laughs> I don't even understand sometimes why, I, why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I think maybe you're the same way. There could be something that you don't understand. Now, not fitness, not eating right, because you should be doing those things regardless. But there could be something of a different, there could be something different that you're, that you're producing in your life or there's something that you have a stronghold with that you just continuously make it be a YouTube channel. It could be a, you could be an Instagram quote unquote influencer creating content every day. You could have a podcast. You could be, you know, a, a comic in, the, in trying to get your break as a comic, as a comedian. It, it could be anything. It, it could be, it could be anything, whatever it is, put, put your label in it or put your label on it. But the fact of the matter is, you question yourself, if not on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, why you do this. This is what I want to talk about in this podcast. If this is something that you look for in terms of my podcast for motivation or for um, a thrust in, in production, probably not the podcast for you. But if you want authenticity right now, if you want to just level with me and with yourself right now, then you're going to listen. I should just title this podcast. What's the point? I don't know if I will or not, but that could be the title. What's the point? What's driving you to do what you're doing? What is the reason why you, but also on the flip, what's, what's the questioning behind 
What are the questions that you have every single day or every week as to why you're doing said thing or why you keep, why you keep trying to produce? Why is it trying anymore? Why isn't it just facilitating? Why is it now something that you have to adhere to? You can call it structure. Well, you got to, Justin talked about discipline. You got to have, you got to have structure and discipline to get anywhere. Yes. But then also when it's something that you're doing with your free time and it's something that you're producing because you love it. Well, sometimes discipline doesn't really have anything to do with stuff that you love. It just is something because you automatic, it's like an autonomous discipline. You love it. So you do it. Like, look, I used to love rollerblading when I was a kid. That shit wasn't a discipline. I did it because I loved it. It fed my soul. Like I just loved it. I thought about it all the time. When I thought about it, I did it. Right? That could be the same thing with you and like your YouTube channel. You create content because you love it and you love creating the content. But now it's like people are wanting it. So it's like now it becomes a chore for you, a burden almost, so to speak. And even if you're getting monetary recruitment from it, do you love it anymore? Or has the monies or the people's you know, heckling you for it kind of diluted your sense of love for it now. I mean, and then it, then you start to question, well, why am I doing it now? Now it, now it seems to be like a burden. I don't even want to do this anymore. You know, I'll be real with you in the beginning when I started straight from the chest, it was all based on my ability to rant very effectively because I can rant pretty effectively. But here's the thing that I noticed. Nobody wants to listen to me rant. And those that do, they just look to it as entertainment. Well, here's the, here's the other byproduct of that. I'm not an entertainer. I'm not a comedian. And most of the time when you rant, there's a, there's a comedic sense to it. You know, I mean, if you look at comedians, that's basically what they are. They're professional ranters because they process things in such a way or see things in such a way that when they reiterate them, they put their spin on it and they make it funny, but there's stuff that you can relate to, but you've never thought about in the way that they've con deconstructed it. And so when they do it, they, they, they're effectively ranting, but they're just ranting in a more pragmatic and, um, tasteful sense, so to speak, right. That allows your, that allows your, your eardrums to continuously listen and stay engaged. But when people rant and you just rant, 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 it's like, okay, that was cool for three minutes. Now I'm done. Right. And I can have the tendency to re, um, <laughs> repeat myself a lot. And so then it's just like the rant's over, but then that's not a, that's not something that's productive. How is that going to give you value when I'm, when I'm staging my podcast on personal development, that's not developing you. But if I had it my way, more often than not, it would be just ranting because that's in, I mean, if so facto, that's the title of the podcast straight from the chest that in that basically entails, I'm telling you what the, f I think that's kind of a rant. But then again, like I said, that's not productive. So I have, so now or back then and up until now, I've chose to spin it in terms of a lesson. And that's what I do love the most. I do love giving you something that you can apply and hopefully demonstrate in your life that makes you a better person. That is the impetus innately behind this podcast. And that's the, that's the impetus behind conversations. When I have conversations with people, it's not just, it's a podcast. I don't just placating for the podcast, but at the same time, I often still like you probably ask myself, what's the point? What's the point of all this? If I'm real with myself, it's because I want to make a different life for myself. I want to add to the life that I have. And I'm not trying to gain monetary recruitment from this podcast. Maybe you're not trying to gain monetary recruitment from your Instagram or from your YouTube channel, or, you know, if you're starting a business, obviously it's different, but there is a desire in you for it to be something or else you wouldn't do it. And if you're real with yourself, you understand that, but it's like, at what point, cause you really don't know anything. You don't know where this is going. You don't know what's going to come of it. All you can do is hope. 
all you can do is continuously fall in love with the process and maybe contort it a different way to where you fall in love again, but you fall in love with it because that's what drove you in the first place. That was the igniter in the first place. But if you're human, like me, you're going to question these things. Maybe you won't question them publicly, but you question them. But some of the times, those are the best things to bring out to the public. Because like you, everybody questions a lot of things. And the biggest question they have is, am I on the right trajectory? Am I doing the right thing? Is this the right thing for me? What's the answer to that? You don't really know. And especially because you're constantly evolving. So what you liked in 2020, you're not going to like in 2021. But you got to be real with yourself. That has to be the common denominator. I speak a lot about being authentic. Being authentic with people is one thing. But being authentic with yourself is a whole different monster. That monster is often hard to contend with. Very hard. You'll fight other people's monsters. You'll give other people advice. You'll give other people direction. But when it comes to you, it's like, I don't even want to talk to that monster yet. I'll deal with him later. But then later never comes. So maybe in 2021, you shouldn't be focused on just what you look like, just what you do, because you know those things sometimes can get fleeting. They can be fleeting. You've showcased it in the years past. Maybe the thing that you need to look at the most is am I being real and raw and so cutthroat with myself and where I'm going and what I'm doing and what actually drives me that I need to focus more on that in 2021, 2022, 2023, until I get that shit proven and then move forward with what I want to do with all my other filler time. And what I mean by that is how you want to conduct yourself. But really, you shouldn't be conducting yourself. You can't conduct yourself the best in the most genuine pr way if you cannot be authentic and real yourself and ask yourself these questions and actually have a formal and horrific conversation with yourself that entails these questions of what's the point? Why am I doing this? What's the bigger reason? I know it's selfish. All of this stuff is selfish. Like, and you may be a selfless person, but I promise you that toothache you had when you were nine was far more important to you than the plague in China that killed millions. And that's reality. And if you don't believe me, you're not being real with yourself. There's so much gold in questioning yourself and questioning things around you. And not because you're not a believer in the certain things that you can't understand and see. Because obviously we want to live by faith. We don't want to live by things we can just see. If you're that person, you're probably more science based and that's fine. You can, you know, do you. But that's not me. That's not what I'm, and it's also not what I'm demonstrating or trying to project here or express. I am saying though that you need to ask yourself real life questions that are going to actually form your trajectory in the future or can possibly veer you off in a different direction off of the, over the guardrails if you allow it. And then you don't, there's a, there's, it's a very, it's a very fine line you ride with giving yourself everything you want to hear and not consuming or rather subscribing to the things that you don't want to hear, but you know, are good for you. Just like you hire a trainer to work, to kick your ass, you know, it's not what you want to do, but you know, it's good for you. You eat the kale and the broccoli because you know, it's good for you. Not because you love the taste of it. Well, some people do, but. They're aliens. <laughs> but reality is, if you don't have those hard hitting conversations with yourself, I think you're leaving a lot of possible opportunity on the table because 
The only way you get to that opportunity is by having those conversations that actually help to refine you as well and might change the trajectory of your life because it will op open up different doors of desire for you that you didn't know you had or you didn't even or, or you also didn't want to adopt. They may be a pathway that's you suppress so far deep down in your into your into just your apparent being for lack of a better word but because you haven't had a conversation with yourself yet about those hard hitting ideas you haven't resurrected that particular pathway that is lying dormant that is actually the path that you should take to gain the opportunities that you desire the most. I question it all the time. And the further I get into podcasting, the more I question it. Not because I question podcasting, but because I question who's even hearing it. These are valid questions. Who's listening? Who's gaining anything from it? Is, is, this, is this ever going to turn into anything? Why am I even doing it for that? Is my, me putting so much emphasis behind each and every podcast, even though it might not seem like it to you, I put emphasis on it. Beforehand, I'm, I'm praying about it. I'm in deep thought about it. I'm obsessed with it. I don't just do it just because it's something to do. You know how many times I want to just, I want, this is done late at night. You know how many times I just want to go to bed? I just want to go to bed. I want to eat and I want to go to bed. I want to eat my last meal and I want to go to bed. That's facts. But I, but I, but there, but there might be somebody, some, something I say might hit somebody in a way that produces some, some stimulus or growth or thrust in a different direction. And that made it worth it. But I don't even know if that's happening. So then I think, well, what's the point? Shut the shit down, man. I'll rather eat and sleep. Especially if I can't do it the way I want to do it because it might offend people or it might make people feel like, well, this isn't like useful to me. But I got to hope that there's something, there's something more behind it. You have to too. You have to hope that there's something else there. You have to hope that the dream is there, that the vision is, even if you can't touch it, even if you can't produce it right now, it's there. There's something there. There's a reason why you're called to do the thing that you're called to do. There's something there. You have to just keep pressing. You just, you just can't, you have to, you can question it. That's fine. And you have to have those real life conversations with, your, with yourself. And I believe that you should. And I believe if you don't, you're being fake with yourself. But I also believe that you can't quit. And I also believe that you can't lose hope. And I also believe that you have to do things that are authentically desirable to you. And I believe that there has to be a selfish element to it too. Otherwise, what's the point? And let's face it, by nature, you're selfish. By nature, I'm selfish. Remember the toothache. I guess what I'm trying to say here is this, have those real hard, seemingly unpalatable conversations with yourself and have them frequently and get better at addressing them and get better at answering those questions and you will be a better version because of it. Done. <laughs>